how you guys doing today? Um, so right now I'm just going to show you something here. I, I switched oils a little while back. Uh, I switched to Lucas semi-synthetic and I just want to show you some things that I, uh, how I, how I do my mix. Alrighty. So you ever seen these? They come on medicine. So this is measured for 39 or sorry, 30 ml. And I believe an ounce is actually 29 and a half. Um, so I just fill it to the 30 mark <clears throat> and do my mix that way. Uh, here's the Lucas. And on the bottle, it tells you the ratios. And I use the 40 to 1. You can see the 40 to 1 is 3 ounces. So I fill the bottle 3 times, dump it in, done. But one of the things I do like about this oil is that it actually gives you the numbers for different ratios. So it's it's rated to go everywhere from 50 to 40 to 32 to 16, you know. It's actually rated for the different mix ratios where some oils will only be rated for the 50 to 1. So that's one of the reasons I made this switch because you never know, you know what I mean? Right now I'm running at 40 to 1 and I have no problems. So one of these days I might jump it up to uh, 32 or something, but we'll see. I figure if I can still get it to run just as good at the same, you know, at 32, then why not, you know? But we'll see. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it at 40 to 1 for a little while and we'll see how it goes. But yeah, all I do is I uh I just start it fill it up to the line. See? And I do that three times. For a gallon of gas. And there's always a little bit left in there, so that's why I figure if it's really rated, at, you know, if it's supposed to be 29 and a half ml, that little bit that's left in there probably comes out, probably works out, you know. But yeah. So at 40 to 1, I need three of these. You see it? That's how I do it. That's it. Some people have different methods. That's how I do it. We're going to be doing a little uh, cutting and splitting today. Uh, so, you're going to see a little bit of action coming up here. Splitter hasn't been started in a long time, so it might be a little rough. Got a couple saws with me. Let's see what I brought. That's my dad's house you're looking at. This is where I grew up. So, I had to bring one of my favorites, right? Yeah, the, uh, the XL700. It's here today. the Pro Max 610. Um, I got this one for free and I still have yet to put it in the wood. So I figured I'd bring it out today and see how it does. Got the 925. Uh, the carb is blocked or the governor is blocked so we're going to give it a test today.
and the Super XL Auto. This is the one we just put the reeds in, the aftermarket reed cage. So we're going to see how they do today. So we're going to be doing a bit of testing. And there's the wood pile on the splitter. She's a homemade splitter I built. But uh, there's a the wood pile. Those big rounds, I'm probably going to chop them in half. Because let's just say, after you lift those things for a couple hours, they just, it gets on you, if you know what I mean. So we'll probably be cutting some of them in half and uh, we'll be doing some saw testing in there. And some of the pieces are still at, you know, five or six foot lengths. So we're going to have to cut some a little, or we'll have to cut a little too. But a little something on my oil mix. Uh, maybe you can chime in, tell me, tell me what you do. That's just, that's how I do it. I just use the little medicine cup, measuring cup or whatever. And I fill it three times for 40 to one. But, uh, Alrighty, till the next one.